Hey guys, today I'm going to play Commander Keen in Goodbye Galaxy. It's a pretty badass old 1992 DOS game from ID Software. That ID Software. You must have heard of them, certainly. And me and me, me and this game, it just, we go way back. And sure, I had my flings my one night stands with older games but this was the first game that really got into a serious relationship with oh the things I would do to this game if it were a woman kinda took it a little too far there didn't I anyway uh, I've always I played a lot of um, stupid happy ball being too happy doesn't actually hurt you, it's just a happy ball. Oh, I shot a slug though. By pure coincidence. Anyway, this game has aged actually pretty well compared to a lot of other DOS side scrollers. There's the uh Duke Nukem DOS game side scroller. That game hasn't aged worse shit. But this one is actually still pr surprisingly pretty fun that I'm happy to maybe it's the nostalgia talking but I like the uh, pogo stick mechanic that's that was very interesting back in the day it was like a constant power up it was always with you it's just a really neat little ability and it it's almost necessary to defeat some enemies with the pogo stick and this game's just plain it's very long this was this entire thing was shareware back in the day this entire episode. Oh, he can't swim. That's right. I need scuba gear. And oh, that level. That is a classic level. The water level. Um, the levels, along with the gameplay, they're all really, really interestingly designed. It's a really interesting platforming. I don't really need any of these things. I'm not exactly sure I what the water droplets ever did. But, you know, as a kid when playing these games, you got to collect everything, even if you don't even know what the hell it does. That blue gem is a key, actually, to open up a door that is necessary to progress in this level. Uh, basically, I'm trying to find these oracles that are hidden, are not really hidden, but they're around in the levels not all the levels but most of them not even most of them some of them a little crazy mushroom guy those guys freaked me out back in the day I was having, I was having a flashback sorry guys I wigged out there <laughs> uh, that was a little too real for a second the, the fear of the mushrooms haunting my childhood It all it happens to the best of us. I always like these little like that weird little slug sleeping in the f in the background. That's that was a nice touch. There's a lot of detail in this game. Get out of my way, happy ball. I'm not in the mood for you right now. I have shit to do. Um yeah, I need the red key. Gotta go get the red key. I always wondered what those balls were. Were they like they're candy of some sort? Certainly, those red balls. Oh, these guys are so freaky. Uh, I can't. I would spend hours and hours trying to get up here, and there is there is a certain technique to it. I don't know. You gotta release the pogo just at the right time. It's pretty hard to do, actually, the the timing. Don't want to spend an entire hour trying to do that, so time to venture forth. Always miss that. But now I have the red key. I can do something. Oh god, the spears! Oh, these guys are pretty nasty as well. Those little blue guys that are pissed off 
at the world for hating them, for judging them. Sorry, little blue guy. I understand your plight. A little switch here. A little turn it on. So all these kind of keys and switches. It's pretty complex for a 1992 side-scroller of the time. It really was beyond anything anyone ever expected out of a DOS game. If you compare this with the other DOS games of the time, you know, this is just on a whole nother plane. And Apogee was another pretty good company back in the day for side-scrollers on the DOS system. And that switch did something. Oh, it moved, uh, it enabled the platform to go up and down. That is always helpful. Because I need to go here. And this mysterious door of some sort. Oh, I have the blue key. How convenient for me. Thank you so much for rescuing me. I'll return to the Oracle Chamber immediately. I, I don't know, I kind of had a Texas accent there. No sweat, oh guardian of wisdom, dude. I'm Commander Keen. And those were the first two levels of Commander Keen. I might, uh, this might be part one. I don't know yet. See you guys.